Hey guys, it's here and I am super duper excited to show you this. I absolutely am in love with the packaging. This of course is my second anniversary box from Craft Penguin Planner, which is the shop that I PR for. Jen, the owner, is a very dear friend of mine. She is an amazing woman. And this is the aforementioned surprise that if you've watched the prior video, I need to go back and edit the details because apparently none of the information went in the little box when I put it together. But, so this is the two-year anniversary box. There are still some available at this time, so if you want it, run. I love the packaging. I love the string. You know, I, I, I always save these and say I'm going to use them for something. So as of this date, I have all of this string. I bet I could probably look around and find like three or four of them just randomly lying around here. But I haven't used any of them. So let's get you off to the side. Let's get in here. So these were available in multiple size options. I chose the Erin Condren size. And oh my goodness, this is adorable. Okay, so she got some goodies from other shops. She got, and then there's stickers from her shop. So let's, do I wanna do that? Let's do this first. So there are, it looks like, uh, seven shops that donated and so the surprise in this is that one of the shops that donated is actually my new shop and I now have a logo and I now actually have business cards rather than just the piece of paper that is in there but Green Dragon Designing is my shop and I am doing clips and charms at this point and I'm considering because I love vinyl so much. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that, isn't that darling? That's so cute, I love that tape. Is that? Oh my goodness, okay. Nope, nope, can't look at that right now. Okay, so we'll get into this. Cello, do, do that for me so that it doesn't fight me. Okay. So, we will go through this first just because, obviously. Um, I do have to admit how funny this is. Look at that. So, I picked this up, and Jen, obviously, probably got this from somewhere else. But it almost is a perfect match. Not color-wise, but the shapes match up pretty well. That's funny. So this is just a paperclip charm that you can stick on your planner. I do hot glue them, so there might be a little hot glue that you made to pull off the edge, but I found that if I don't hot glue them, and I've seen some that I've gotten from other shops that don't come as hot glued, and they just, they untie, they unravel, and I hate that, I hate that, I hate that. So it's a gold paperclip, very sturdy, it's just a small one, but I saw this pattern and Jenna mentioned what the theme was going to be, the succulents, and I was like, match made in heaven. So that is the item from my shop, which is Green Dragon Designing. I run it with my soon-to-be husband. Next up, this is from Planning with Manny. When in doubt, add glitter. I'm down for that. And then these little shine glitter sparkle. I like that. I've heard of really good things about this shop. Um, have not ordered from it yet myself, but I think that is going to change in the very near future. This is a favorite shop of mine, the sticker patch. I actually just entered a, the giveaway for the Planners Collaborative to try and win shop credit from her because she has some gorgeous new kits. I really, really, really love the scripts on here. And this color zone, or this color scheme is, is definitely calling to me. Um, I think this is new. Can we talk about the fact that her new little, this, this sticker right here, this is the sticker patch, and it is a sticker. Oh my goodness, and it's readable. Like, yes, please. Small is in, small is my jam, okay. This is Cheerful Planner Girl. I love, love, love the owner of this shop, and I love her stickers. She has mini stickers for days, 
and I have a lot of them. I really love these. I like the little piggy. He's really cute. And then they'll stick together. This one. So there's that one. Playing with Peggy Co. <laughs> Don't be prickly. That's cute. This is very functional. I like that. See, I like it. This is my problem. I run, I love using full boxes in my spreads, but I run out of space. So if I'm using full boxes, I like them like this. So there's like a space around the image in the middle so I can stick other stickers on like the corners so I have like a list. Ooh, we got some big samplers here. This is from Beyond Paper Flowers. She has some really unique stickers. Like these mason jar checklists are really different to me. I love these half box ones. Or this, well, is that a, technically a half box? The note pad one. I think it's larger than a half box. So it looks like it's wider than this. These are new to me. I love the, like the paint um, line. And then her half box with the scalloped edges I really like too and I like the color scheme that everybody went with on this here we have the last one and this is keep it simple stickers she has this is actually a full mini kit here we've got two full boxes two half boxes four quarter boxes kind of a movie marquee a habit tracker weekend banner some deco drawn by her husband to do work um, some scripts and then two half or two three lip check strips and then two five lip check strips. So those were all of the donations from the other shops. Which way were you? You were there. Then you. Then you. And then you. So those were in there. Okay. And then. We'll move on to the remainder of the order, the actual order, I suppose. And this was the items that were not the in the sticker box. So this is a notepad, and it is cute as a button. This is a cactus pen, and yes, please, look. Can you see that? I think I am in frame. I really think I'm in frame. Okay. Am I in frame? Yeah, there we go. I am in frame. Oh. So it is a really thin, ooh, and it even writes on my skin. So it's a gel ink pen. It is black as pitch. This is a wedding. The problem with these is that because they travel, they don't like to write right away, so you sometimes have to go over the text a little bit. There we go. So that is the super black ink. It's a super smooth writing tool. I love pens like this and I actually have bought some myself and then realized I bought too many so I might have to share. So that was that. Go away. And then we have a roll of washi tape with succulents on it. Come to me, come to me. Oh, that's really cute. It shows all the succulents on the back there, it looks like. So if this is to be believed, there are eight of them. Oh, that's so darling. It's a 15 millimeter roll, and there are five meters of washi on here, so it's a hefty roll. So that's great, you can get a lot out of that. I am excited to incorporate that. All right, so let's get into the stickers. Oh, look at that one, that's cute too, I love it. Ooh, there's a lot of stickers in here. Come to me, stickers, come to me. All right, so the first thing we have here is a sticker with my name on it. I'm trying to convince Jen well, I haven't yet, but I'm going to try and convince Jen to create more of these because I need my name on everything, especially if my name has a little heart and the eye. I used to do that in 
Oh my goodness, I think it was way back in middle school, but I did that all the time. And this actually, other than the way that the K is shaped, this is exactly how I tended to write my signature. So, I really love that. Here is the shop business card. I really do love this die cut. I think it's so cute. Waddle's in there. It's it's precious. We have the freebies. This is the Apler. The Apler. We're combining April and, April and Sampler here today. This is the April Sampler. It's very cute. I love that little dragonfly, the colors. This is one of her new hand drawings. It is a little air fryer. It is darling. Makes me want to get an air fryer, but I will resist at this point because I do not have the kitchen space. So to change things up again a bit, this time I got um, Sarah's sampler. These are going to be springy right now and possibly changing, but you didn't hear it from me. So and then we have a penguin sticker here in rose gold. Rose gold was the theme for this because it matched a whole bunch of bunch of bunch of die cuts which I am immediately okay maybe not immediately I've got to find coordinating paper first but I am going to use these and make a dashboard for my b6 still need to film the video of me doing a dashboard using washi tape but I think oh, wait 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 I could do I could film a dashboard you making it out of wa this washi tape along with these. Thoughts in the comments about that, guys. What do you think? Should I do that? I feel like that would look really cute. And then I can pull in other random elements that I already have floating around here. Alright, so we have some foils. All of this, again, is rose gold to fit the kit coloring. This is the icon sheet. This is relatively new. She released them mm, not that long ago. Here we have a sheet of foiled succulents and then a sheet of succulent stickers. Those are so cute. Okay. Mm, let's see, okay. So we have a sheet of scalloped quarter boxes here full sheet. I love the scallops on, I, I love Jen's scallops. I mean, I like the little scallops that you'll see on other things. I know Beyond Paper Flowers are really, are, are smaller scallops and they're really cute, but these I think are more bold and I like that. I don't, I, I don't hate the feminine touch. I don't want to say that because that sounds awful even now that I've said that on camera. I like this. I like this shape and I love the fact that Jen uses this one. I think they're really cool. Plus it's a whole, a whole sheet of them. That's awesome. Okay, here we have a bunch of quote stickers. And if she does not list these in the shop, I may cry. Jen, if you watch this, I'm gonna need like three or four sheets of this because some of these are just, I mean, I can't, okay, look at this, okay. I'm no cactus expert, but I know a prick when I see one. Yes. Um, can't touch this. Let's see. Where is the other one? Not all days have thorns. And I'm sorry if you can hear, I'll never desert you. Except it's not spelled desert, it's spelled desert. I'll never desert you. Ah, stuck on you, looking sharp. Oh my goodness, yes. Thank you, Jen. Oh, and don't be a prick. Okay, okay, I'm done obsessing over the quote stickers here. Here is the kit. So if you watched her video recently, you would... Uh, God, was she in the waddle? I feel like she might have been in the waddle doing it. Um, going forward, all of her kits are coming with this. And I need to figure out if I can bribe her. I mean, convince her to make me like 20 sheets of this because... Yes, please. Yes, please. Also, also, yo girl kind of helped with these two. 
because we were trying to figure out what space, what words should go in here, and I was like, people like before the pen and midweek spread. At least I assume they do, because every Facebook planning group I have has like Sunday spread day or whatever. Okay, so anyways, on this you get a full line of to-dos, a full line of todays, a full line of tidbits, an important reminders, to clean, errands, to buy, goals next week and this week. We've got Fry Yay with the little heart and like she does in her weekend banner, laundry, plan. Oh, I can't read today. I thought that said plow there for a second and I was like, oh, Caitlin, I like that. No, it says plan. Grocery shopping, trash day, payday, meal day, happy meal, a full month of date covers or date dots rather and then four asterisks. And then this is the layout for this kit. We've got nine, oops, excuse me, eight full boxes, one with the quote. And I really like that quote. You are meant to thrive, not to survive. This is called the Thrive Kit, by the way. We have the weekly and the space for you to actually put something in. So you can either handwrite something in or you could actually fit one of these guys on there just fine. A bill due to habit trackers. We have looks like nine full or excuse me, nine half boxes, nine quarter boxes, three appointment labels, and then these are your headers now. So these are what you will put those words on. Or if you want to use them as dividers, honestly, you could use them as dividers. I could see myself using them as both. Depends on what your strategy on planning is. So moving on to the next page, we have nine full box checklists. Each one of them is a five count. Two more habit trackers and another bill due. This page is your bottom washi, two oh, teardrops a little planner, a don't forget, two long flags, two square, more square squatted flags, date covers, and let's see, full check strips. Uh, again, the five count ones. And then here is the Hello Weekend banner, which she has switched out so that it is now that extremely lovable Hello Weekend that we all see and I constantly buy from her because I can never have enough of them. When she released that like multicolored set, I had to have it. Did I need it? No, because I had a ton of her Hello Weekend banners, but I needed it anyway, so I had to get it, obviously. A bunch of deco succulents, and then create your own littles, which is really cool here. So what you do is then you, so you've got the, the pictures of your littles, and then you've got the strips for your littles, and then you would just combine them as you so you fit. Or if you just want to write, like I sometimes will, just I don't want to put that in there, I can just use the picture. Or if I just want to use this and not put a little on it, I can do that. So this is brilliant. Read me. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Not sure if I made that clear enough yet, but absolutely brilliant. Okay, and then moving on, the final thing on this in this kit is, of course, your glitter washi, or glitter headers. So, love, 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 love. She is reformatting her kits, so I believe that all of them will have this format, and I can honestly not wait. Because, you know, I have to say my favorite thing about the changes to this kit are, are this right here. If I could get her, if, if these come out and I can get these in a foil, I will be done for because I would get this in foil. I would get this in just the regular black because there are some times that the foil just doesn't work or I can't figure out what foil I want to work in there, so I use black. But if I can buy this sheet separately, that would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, hi, Jen. I didn't see you there. No, I'm just kidding. It's not a live video. Still possibly my favorite sheet in the entire kit. So this is what I received. I believe, yes, they are still available at this time. So if you do not want to miss out on this amazingness, and obviously it is amazingness because, hello, go place your order right now at www.craftpenguinplanner.com because when they're gone, they're gone. Now with that being said, if it's the kit specifically or the die cuts that you love, you might be able to get those longer down along the line 
And Jen has recently fallen in love with pens. If you had not seen the penguin pens, by the way, those sold out within like, I think two or three days of her listing those. So when I say that her stuff sells out, not joking, not one bit. You need to get your hands on this now because if you, what you know, okay, maybe don't like overdraft, wait till Thursday if it, Thursday's payday or Friday if Friday's payday, but you get the, you get my gist here. All right, well, thank you so very much, guys, for watching. I had so much fun with this video. This is probably one of my favorite videos to date. Um, I absolutely, absolutely love unboxing videos that are unknown to me. So I, you know I love, like, mystery bags and whatnot. But also the ones where there's a collaboration and everyone works together. I mean, there is so much in here that is all just I mean, cactus-themed or it matches the color scheme or everyone worked together and all of these shops donated. And I think the fact that, I love the fact that the planner community is as tight-knit as it is and that everyone works together and helps each other out and maybe I will find out that I am completely in the wrong about that once I get into the behind the scenes stuff. But I love this. I love everything. And now I need to go hunt down more washi tape like this because I'm gonna need more. Bye guys.